If you've ever eaten a Cheeto or whipped up a box of mac and cheese, okay, I can explain. You're familiar with the ingenious marvel that is powdered cheese. Though it may seem commonplace now, it was revolutionary when it was first made. So, how was the salty orange dust invented? Is it even real cheese? And what does the military have to do with it? Humans love cheese. My favorite's Gouda. From a block of cheddar to the ever-present Parmesan, many fridges have some sort of cheesy product on their shelves. Are you getting more cheese? But before we invented refrigerators, cheese was often stored in cool rooms, like cellars or caves. While this worked fairly well, especially during the colder seasons, hotter weather made it difficult to preserve cheese. That's because the main ingredient of most cheeses is milk. Milk? Heat liquefies animal fats, causing them to spoil. So in 1911, two Swiss cheesemakers, Walter Gerber and Fritz Stettler, began experimenting with cheese. After liquefying it, they added emulsifying salt, a compound to change the cheese's pH, flowability, meltability, and texture ability, and stops the fat from separating. They created the first processed cheese. But in 1916, James Kraft became the first person to patent processed cheese. Smart man. The U.S. military instantly saw the potential of this new fangled cheese. They quickly became Kraft's largest customer, buying 25 million tins of processed cheese during World War I. This type of cheese lasts longer and withstands higher temperatures, making it perfect to send overseas to troops. In 1937, Kraft introduced its famous boxed macaroni and cheese, which promised to feed four people for just 19 cents. The timing couldn't have been better. As America endured the Great Depression, Kraft Dinner, as it was also called, gained popularity while meat, dairy, and produce were in short supply. Kraft sold eight million boxes in one year. Now it's seen as a quick and easy meal for dorm-bound college students, or as a lazy indulgence. But boxed macaroni and cheese was once an American staple that saved some families from starvation. Bless his highly nutritious microwave more macaroni and cheese dinner and the people who sold it on sale. By World War II, U.S. troops ate processed cheese in sandwiches, pasta, and cheese slices. In 1944, the military bought 50,000 tons from the National Dairy Products Corporation, Kraft's parent company. That's more than the weight of 300 blue whales. Have you been up all night eating cheese? And cheese wasn't the only thing the U.S. military was interested in preserving. The military dried and compressed every food it could. This process removed water from foods, reducing their weight and volume, and making them easier to package and ship. But cheese had a problem. It's fatty. Rude. So if you try to dehydrate cheese the same way you dry potatoes, the fat melts and separates. At that time, everyone thought it was impossible to dehydrate cheese. But the United States Department of Agriculture was hard at work experimenting with food to feed the troops. In 1943, a USDA food scientist named George Sanders developed a two-step drying process. First, he grated the cheese and dried it at a low temperature. This hardened the surface proteins and created a protective barrier around the lipids, or fats. Then he ground the cheese and dehydrated it at a higher temperature. And it was successful. Powdered cheese had finally arrived. Cheese production grew from about 3.6 million tons in 1938 to over 5 million tons in 1944. When World War II ended in 1945, the military had warehouses full of dehydrated cheese and food. It sold its surplus at low prices to grocery manufacturers like General Foods, Kraft, and the Frito Company. The cheese surplus combined with the dehydrated food revolution led the Frito Company to experiment with powdered cheese. And in 1948, it created the first cheesy snack food by extruding, puffing, and frying a mixture of cornmeal and water. 
the fluffy, crispy creations got coated with the magical orange dust. And voila, Cheetos were born. And powdered cheese wasn't the only processed food to take America by storm. Check out another episode of Origins of Food to find out the history behind America's beloved chicken nugget. <laughs>